This is 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. And in this segment, I want to talk about creating jobs with power. Now, many months ago, I challenged the stimulus bill advocates that they needed to create long-term jobs that would help grow the economy and move it forward. I also challenged the cap-and-trade promoters that they needed to do something real and not just tax and spend us into a greater whole. They needed to do something besides continuously tell us to conserve power and don't use. And we needed to do something about increasing our power production and our effectiveness of distribution. Now, one of my ideas around energy was simple. We needed to invest $100 billion in a national 765 kilowatt power grid. I've heard bupkis. On a national level, you just don't hear about it. The president mentioned it a couple of times and threw it out there, but you don't hear any of the candidates right now bringing this up as a key issue, yet it is. Not just for our power capabilities and our resource and green energy, but jobs. Let me explain, again, for those of you who don't listen to my segment regularly and maybe don't read the newsletter as often as you should, let me explain why this high power grid would completely change the power game entirely. First, you have to realize that we have an ever increasing demand for electricity. Yes, the recession has slowed this a bit, but if we have any intention of bringing manufacturing back into this country, we have to be prepared for a dramatic demand growth. Next, we have to stop all this ill-conceived notion that we have to always conserve. Economic and social growth will come with the expansion of the need for power and power usage. It's not an exhaustible resource. We're not going to run out of electricity. It's all about how we produce it and how we distribute it. Finally, if we want to use green power sources like wind and solar, then this is a necessary step to making that a possibility. We need to create a better distribution source and methodology. Right now, we lose about 10% of the power produced in transmission over old, undersized power lines. That's 10% of your power bill, literally. This transmission loss increases exponentially over distance. With wind and solar farms needing to be way out, away from metropolitan centers, it's made it impractical for these these sources, these green sources, to be functional and cost-effective. Obviously, along with the obvious green initiative, it would also help provide a level of homeland security that you just, you don't hear anybody talking about this. A redundancy across areas and across states that would prevent a terrorist from knocking out one power plant or one major substation, a metropolitan area, then pull power from an entirely different source over a longer shot. It makes all the sense in the world. On top of that, and maybe most importantly, this investment in this particular power grid would create 200,000 or more jobs for 5 to 10 years. And because it would grow the economy and give us opportunities and alternatives we've never had before, in areas we've never had before, that it would improve the economy's capability of having greater employment, reducing the unemployment levels dramatically, increasing the tax base, doing all the things we really want and need to have happen. But you don't hear anybody talking about it. Now, my question is, if you want stimulus, this is the way to create stimulus, through technology and economic investment that would create long-term jobs. You've been listening to 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. And if you like what you've heard here, pick up a copy of my book, Political Common Sense for America. You can find it at Amazon.com. Also, take a look at our website, www.pcsfa.com. Until next time, be safe out there.